Hey friends, this is Angelica. Welcome back to my channel. I found some ornaments last year on Target's website um, from their Wonder Shop collection. This was about a week before Christmas. I loved the shape of these ornaments, but I did not care for the color at all. Um, they're super shiny copper and gold, and um, but the shapes, I love the shapes. And they were originally $25 and they were marked um, down 50%. So I paid $12.50. And I think I bought three or three or four of them. So I mean, I got free shipping. Um, but my so I paid a little over a dollar for each ornament. And um, like, I'm totally fine with that because these shapes are so lovely and they are glass ornaments. So before I get into painting, I need to get them prepped. And um, you can see I have dowels in a whole bunch of different sizes with painter's tape around them to make them thicker when needed um, because I put ornaments on these dowels so I can paint them or whatever it is that I'm doing. Um, I do a lot of ornaments. I will, I think last year I probably did, I don't know, 10 dozen. Um, I usually start in September too, uh, late August, early September. So I'm right on time. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm getting them on the dowels and then I'm, I'm using painter's tape to hold them um, in place. And I have this box of rice. I This is a big bag of brown rice from Costco. I put it in an Amazon box three years ago and it is working just fine still. So um, that's how I put the ornaments away so they can dry once um, I have them painted. But before I jump into painting, I do need to clean them. So I have rubbing alcohol um, and I wipe them really well with the rubbing alcohol and a paper towel. And now we're going to um, start painting. And these are the three paints that I picked out. I have Java, Barely Pink, and Cascade. Um, these are home decor chalk paints um, from Hobby Lobby. Uh, they are $1.59 a bottle. I really like that price. <laughs> and I really, really love these paints. I talk about them all the time when I'm doing... Um, like a mixed media project, anything that's not paper crafts, and I pull out this this paint, you're going to hear me rave about this paint because the price point is so fabulous for what these paints can do. So I am just putting a quick coat. I started with the Barely Pink. I'm using a pretty cheap paintbrush. Um, there is nothing special going on right now other than um, I did not prime uh, the ornaments. I normally would prime my ornaments with um, white primer, but I just jumped right into painting. Now that I have my first coat of paint on, I'm going to sift flour over the wet paint um, and just let that flour um, dry into the paint. So it's, it's going to leave like this really nice scratchy texture behind once the paint dries and grabs onto that flower. So the next color is Cascade. And I'm going to just do the same process all over again. Add one coat of the paint and then sift flour over it. The paint's going to take about an hour to dry. 45 minutes to an hour to dry. Um, I don't rush this at all because after the paint dries, I'm going to take a brush and brush off um, any leftover flour. So I want, I do not uh, want to brush the flour off too soon. And I have done this a couple times. The paint just wasn't fully dry and I ended up ruining my, my brush because you need a really soft brush to um, get the flour off. Um, but because I was impatient and the paint was so wet, I contaminated my really soft, dry brush. I'm going to finish this last ornament on screen. I just wanted to paint three ornaments on screen so you can see what the colors looked like. Um, I did do 24 ornaments um, in this sitting. So, uh, yeah, I did have to wait 45 minutes for, you know, each coat to dry. But I was always busy because I had 24 ornaments you know, going at once. But 
I have a soft brush here and I'm slow. I'm well, I have it sped up, but I am gently brushing the flower off. I don't need to get all of the flower off because the little remnants that are left behind after I brush is just going to um, thicken the second coat of paint. And with the with when I'm painting over this flower uh, texture, it's going to make the surface of the ornament really scratchy. Um, you're gonna you're gonna be able to feel it, like it, sandy. It feels sandy, and um, it's super super matte once it dries. And I I love matte. I love super matte. Um, the the shine like what these ornaments were at the beginning. That is that is not my style. That's a lot of other people's style, but that is, you're not going to find that in my house. <laughs> so now I have um, the pink ornament out. I'm adding the second layer and I'm going to do a second layer with the cascade pink also on screen. And you just can see how nicely the second layer of paint sits on top of that um, scratchy surface of the first layer in the flower. I mean, it, Make the second coat went on so easily and it was super opaque. Like the second coat just finished it. We can move on to um, aging the ornaments. So for this next step, I'm going to be using Saran Wrap and Debbie's Design Diary DIY Pennies from Heaven Copper Patina. I'm going to brush some of that patina onto a piece of saran wrap and to get rid of those brush strokes, I'm going to crumble the saran wrap up in my hand. And I'm going to do this a couple times to get those brush strokes out and then it's going to leave behind um, like wrinkles in the paint, which is exactly what I want. Next, I'm going to grab one of the ornaments that I've painted. Um, I have, I'm going to start with this really pretty cascade ornament. And I'm going to put the strand wrap gently on top of the ornament. And I will use my fingers to push the saran wrap uh, with the paint on it into the ornament. I'm not gonna move the saran wrap. I'm not gonna do like a wiping back and forth. I just want the paint to be on top of the ornament and then I can use my finger to kind of push that paint around um, before pulling the saran wrap off. And when I pull the saran wrap off, I do it kind of fast and that's going to kind of pull away some of the paint too. So it's gonna leave behind this really pretty old chipped paint almost look to it. And I'm sorry, I, I don't know why I had my camera zoomed in so much. So I did do part of this off screen. <laughs> I was not paying attention so. Um, when I was doing my editing, oh man, I was so frustrated to see half of the time I'm off screen doing this. So I'm just going to keep playing with the saran wrap. If I want to put more paint on it, I'll just put a couple more brushes of paint onto it and then keep adding layers until I'm happy. Now, this is the hardest part of this project for me is the self edit because <laughs> I just want to just do it keep doing it, keep adding more paint, making it pretty, making it pretty. And then all of a sudden, oh man, I put too much on. <laughs> so this is really hard to know when to stop. You just gotta, you just have to tell yourself to stop. Now with the Java ones, with these chocolate colored ornaments, I actually was really aggressive with the patina. I didn't care how heavy it was because it just looked so pretty with the brown. I actually wanted more patina. I wanted the brown to be the um, background color on the on these ornaments. And you'll see at the end of this video, I'm going to walk you through the ornaments once the caps are put back on them. The uh, the most the chocolate ones are going to have the heavy hand patina on them. And can we talk about brown paint real quick or chocolate paint, Java paint? I've given it a few different names in this video, but um, I have a girlfriend, Tia. She is just not a fan of brown. And I tell her all the time, I think brown is such an underrated color. I That is a color that I reach for a lot um, when I'm coloring, when I'm stamping, um, stenciling, painting. I just, I'm a big fan of brown. 
I'm almost done with this ornament and then I'm going to move on to doing the caps and I'm going to take you outside. I'm going to take you into my backyard with me. You're going to see my setup because I'm going to um, spray paint the caps. The caps that were on these were um, bright gold. Uh, so we need to fix that so they match the ornaments. So let's head out to the backyard and I'm going to show you how I spray paint caps. So this is my setup. I um, I go all out for this. I have my Kirkland sparkling cans. I did put a little bit of water in them and um, some skewers, some little wood skewers to hold the toppers. I did spray them with primer. Let me pull up. What did I spray them with? First I sprayed them with this primer. After that dried, I used a little bit of this hammered. I don't know what color this is, but I have two different colors. Oh, so this is hammered gold. And that was a little too yellow for me. So then I did a quick dark bronze, just a quick dusting of this. Cause I don't want them all uh, just a solid color. So you see, I don't know if you can see, I have, I have different colors there. Um, then I did a quick spray of, wait, not the rose gold. I did a quick spray of the copper brilliance and then one last dusting with the dark bronze. So hopefully once these are dry, it's gonna take about 20 minutes for them to dry. I can get them off the skewers and see how they look on the ornaments. All right, well, I would show you how I put the caps on. I mean, it's pretty obvious. Um, but I forgot to push a record, so I uh, took the last two off their dowels, and there are there is still a little bit of painter's tape on the ornament. I'm fine with that. I'm not going to try and mess with it. I don't want to hurt the paint in any sort of way. So the cap will just hide that painter's tape, and that is what it's going to look like. I'll put some. I don't know what I'll, what yarn if or not yarn, but if it's going to be like. Um, string or ribbon i'm not sure yet but there'll be something pretty on it i wanted to show you this one now i did this one off camera and i must have been really heavy-handed with the flower <laughs> because there's so much texture to this um ornament i just think it's so beautiful the chocolate with this patina is actually my favorite color out of all of these i think they are just so lovely together and um, they just bring out a lot of texture. Like this brown one, I just, I love it. Love, love, love it. The blue or this, this teal is so pretty too. And then the pink. I'm gonna jump back in and finish the video. I do ramble a little bit here. So I had a lot of fun putting these ornaments together. If you have ornaments that you have in your stash that you haven't been using for the last few years, just um, you don't know what to do with them, flip them, paint them, give them some texture. Um, that is, it's so fun. And um, yes, I bought these but I do have ornaments that I haven't put on my tree in a couple years. So I probably will flip those also. We are just getting into the fall season, but I usually skip over fall in my craft room and go straight into Christmas. This is my favorite time of the year. It's my favorite time of the year to craft. And I have so many ideas that I want to share with you. So be sure to subscribe. I have a lot of more ornaments that are going to be coming. Um, I'm going to be doing handmade gift ideas, gift wrapping ideas, Christmas cards, um, all of the above. So be sure to subscribe. I will make a playlist um, for Christmas so you can go there and see my other videos that I've made. And I'll also leave a link on screen here to a Christmas ornament that I made last year. So I'm going to end the video now. This is... Um, this is where I'm going to say goodbye and I'll be back shortly with another project. So I'll see you then. Bye.